folks, it's the Rad Gang back to Let's Play DuckTales Remastered. Time to move on to the next stage. According to the computer, the next thing in our list is the African Mines. Find Gyro. Our next stop's Africa and the center of the Earth. What treasure do you think you'll find there, Uncle Scrooge? Only the largest gem known to history, the giant diamond of the inner Earth. Hi, lads. This is the place. Oh, I can feel all those diamonds singing to me. <laughs> and it's a right pretty song, too. Gyro, I thought you said this winch was brand new. It was. It's an unbreakable diamond tether, Mr. McDuck. I made it myself. So long as you didn't use any of my diamonds to do the job. <laughs> What's all this hullabaloo? Your lunch break isn't for two hours yet. We heard voices down there, Mr. McDuck. Strange, g g ghostly voices. Nonsense. There aren't any v v v voices down there. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mr. McDuck, but your mine is haunted. You finish digging it. Oh, you want anything done, you've got to do it yourself. And believe me, if I hear voices down there, I'll give them a good talking to. Now, you stay here, boys. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The rock bottom, Mr. McDuck. This mine shaft goes down for miles. Once again, brings the boys along, tells them to stay behind. Why even bother? <laughs> anyway, the African Mines, I think, is a pretty good choice for first. For first pick, if this is your first time playing the game. At least on easy or normal difficulty. Because the heart holder comes pretty early in the stage. And it's a pretty linear stage as well, with not a whole lot of enemies that are that I find terribly troublesome. But we'll cover that as we move on. This old lift won't budge, Uncle Scrooge. Looks like the key's missing. You don't think the ghost ran off with it, do you? Look, if I hear one more word about this mine being haunted, I'll start haunting it myself. So before we can actually make our way down, we need to find the key. Use these rocks to take out the bats, because it's a lot easier than trying to fight them head-on. Invincibility makes things nice. If it doesn't wear out on you prematurely. <laughs> Still, it's not too bad. I've got five hearts. I can take a few hits here and there. And here's the key we were looking for. So, we'll take it back to the... A uh, little, uh, lift there. Ah! See, that's what I mean about the bats. They'll try and track you like that, unless they get stuck behind a wall like this. Tough break, buddy! <laughs> hey, you found the key! Did the ghosts have it? Oh, I'm telling you kids for the last time. There are no ghosts in this mine. Know about that, Uncle Scrooge. Something must have cut the tether line and broke the winch and scared away those workers. I'll tell you what scared them away. Overactive imaginations. I'm not about to let a bunch of silly superstitions stand between me and the giant diamond of the inner earth. Now, man the controls and load away, lads. Down we go. So if you head over here, you'll find another one of those illusion walls! And the big treasure! Another heart holder. So now we're up to six hearts for our life bar. That's what I mean when I say it comes pretty early in the stage. And that's why I think this is a good choice for first. Now, if you're playing this game on a hard difficulty, then, uh... The only places where you can get a heart holder would be in, uh, Transylvania or the Himalayas. Mrs. Bigley, what are you doing here? I'll not have you risking your life on an empty stomach. No more danger till you eat every last bite. Well, if you insist. You're always as good as you want, my dear. Hmm. 
Upon closer examination, this cone is awfully shiny. Almost like it's made of gold. Only Scrooge would have gold-plated ice cream cones. Anyway, we've got some ducks that we bounce on in the water here. Just keep your pogo out for the whole time that you're going across, and they're no problem. And more secrets! Yeah, as you can probably guess, this is going to be a lot of gems in this level. After all, it is a mine. Whoa! Almost didn't bounce over the water like I wanted to. Anyway, after you're done cleaning out all the stuff up here, time to make our way down. Yeah, most of this stage is going to go straight down. And yeah, we've got a boulder. That boulder is instant kill, so just keep moving. Actually, I'm going to backtrack a minute, because I'm pretty sure I may have passed up something. Oh, just a $10,000 gem. The, and no, the boulder does not come back, so don't worry about having to do that again. Well, of course, it'll come back if you die and then respawn at the chain, but yeah. So we're going to head up here. Grab a few more gems and continue on upward. Now, before you go hitting any of the rocks in this room, be sure to jump along the ceiling to reveal some hidden treasure chests, which you're going to need to hit those rocks into. Okay, five rocks, five chests. I can count. I know there's one more around here. Hmm, okay, I guess it's just the four. Must just be misremembering this. Anyway, just hit each rock into each chest and get the loot. No problem. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> uh, looks like I messed this up a little bit because I didn't leave myself a rock to take that one out. Because this one certainly is going to make it. Oh, well. We'll never know what was in it. And we'll never get that $10,000 gem. Not every run is flawless. Anyway, we've got another instant kill rock following us here, so we want to stay ahead of it, but also get all these gems along the way. I'm pretty sure those blocks over there aren't hiding anything in particular, so don't bother with those. And then the cutscene will make us bounce over the rock, which then clears the way for us. So, down we go! We've got more rocks around here, and just like before, make sure there aren't any treasure chests around that you can hit them into. There's nothing to hit those into, so don't worry about them. So things are looking a bit darker in here. Once again, I really like the scenery in these... in these caves here. Whoa! That was a bad jump, because I got stopped by that rock up there. Sometimes it's just not worth it to be pogoing all over the place, as fun as it is. Okay, there's the rock that I bounced against. Nothing terribly difficult here, just some precision platforming, and not even a really bad amount of it, either. No problem.
Ah, there we go. Sometimes you gotta look around to find that treasure chest that you need to hit the rock into. Oh, looks like we got another boulder chase coming up. You know, being chased by a boulder, I would think that warrants more than a uh, leisure jog away from it. Or even just walking, which is what looks like Scrooge is doing. But yeah, not too much to worry about in this stage. It's pretty basic. But we do have a minecart, so watch out. Here we go. Remember that your momentum follows the cart when you jump. This you need to keep in mind when you jump from cart to cart. Ooh, that was a little close. Oh, sadness. Oh, well, I'm not concentrating too much on getting every last gem I see. But cutscene time. Is there no end to this madness? Now, what in the world do you suppose those are? Out of the way! Ouch! Oh, my aching tail feathers! Boys, did I not tell you to stay with Gyro? Well, we are, uh, uh... Oh, I'm disappointed in you lads. It's dangerous down here. Uh, we just wanted to help Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> Hush, lads. Did you hear that? What a moody! <laughs> Those must be the voices that Miner was talking about. You boys go back the way you came. This is no place for children. Yes, yes, because it's so much safer to go backwards through the whole level. Yeah, I'd like to see them try and bounce across those ducks. Oh, that's nifty. I didn't even know that chest was there. See, I'm discovering new chests every time I play this game. And here's some more of those canisters that we hadn't seen since the first level. Great for taking out plants that are otherwise unbeatable. We're getting fairly close now. I don't think there's anything over there, but we'll have a look. Well, there was that little gem, and that really wasn't worth it given how tough that jump is. So I'm not sure what that can's for. I guess you could take out the bricks, but then what would you hit them into? Oh, that was a bad jump. I think I bounced against the invisible ceiling there. And now we're starting to run into Beagle Boys, so we must be getting pretty close to something. More duck bouncing. You definitely want to watch out for the Beagle Boys during this part, because the knockback could knock you into the water and you will die instantly. So... Bounce carefully. Yeah, this room is just a single room. We do have a bat to contend with here. Just step under it and then quickly out of the way, and it should just dive bomb straight to the ground. Making them a little easier to take out. And then, of course, hit the box for more money.
I really don't like jumping over those plants. It's always a little... Because of how high they can reach when they start chomping at you. Alright, we should be getting close now. I honestly thought we'd be there already. If we take a quick look at the map... Yeah, we are actually getting very close now, just a few rooms away. This isn't a trap at all. Oh boy. You! What's the meaning of all this racket? Out of the way, stranger. As the king of the Terra Fermians, I forbid anyone to interfere with the great games. Great games? Stand back! You'll interfere with the Roo. Strange creature, you are disqualified. Yes, you're disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct and roll and crash interference. Now see here, I own this mine, and I won't be bossed around by an overblown fuzzball. Step aside, I've got work to do. Oh, so you're the one causing all the ruckus up above. Well, I have heard enough. And so now we face our next boss, the Terra Fermi King. Basically, he rolls around, and you have to bounce on his head every now and then. Occasionally, he'll start rolling in circles. You can't hurt him during this state. Basically, you're just waiting for him to stop rolling around. He'll fly into the background and then sh use a trumpet to send a certain attack after you. Depending on what color the trumpet is, determines what kind of attack it'll be. Then be ready for him to come back and try and roll into you again. Now, in the NES version, all he did was roll around... And he also did this part. And there was no trumpet. So, okay, we got another red one, so more rocks are going to fall from the, from the ceiling. Just watch the shadows so you know where to avoid. Alright, here comes his little spin dash move here. This isn't fairly difficult to avoid. Okay, purple, which means a stampede of balls should be on the way. Yes, they are. Just bounce on them and try to avoid the ones that go high. Ugh. Yeah, this boss I don't think is too terribly bad. Okay, here comes the stampede again. Oh, didn't quite avoid that one. And there we go. I can hold up under your assault no longer, stranger. What is it you wish from us? Well, for starters, stop these infernal games. You're causing earthquakes, scaring off my workers, and ruining my equipment. It's now impossible to mine for diamonds. Diamonds? Aye, diamonds. Like this one, though the particular one I'm after is a fair bit bigger. Oh, you refer to garbage rocks. We have no use for garbage rocks. They're hard and sharp, and you can't roll on them at all. You don't say. <laughs> uh, uh, tell you what, uh, I'll do you a favor and haul away your uh, uh, garbage rocks free of charge. Just keep the earthquakes to a minimum, all right? Agreed. I am proud to announce that the Terra Fermians hereby welcome your garbage rock mining operation. Uh, here, you can start by getting rid of this one. Bless me, bagpipes! The giant diamond of the inner elf! How convenient, and now everyone loves me. Thank you! Thank you very much! Oh, thank you! And, score analysis. So we didn't get as much money out of this stage as we did in Transylvania, but it was a pretty sh short and simple level, I thought. And that's part of why I think this is a good place to go for your first stage. And so that puts our total up to almost $11 million now. 
Gee, Uncle Scrooge, you mean there weren't any ghosts down there after all? That's right, Louis. It's as I told you, boys. There's a rational explanation for everything. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground creatures who cause earthquakes as part of a game is a completely rational explanation. Uh, I... Never mind, boys. The point is, we made it back with the giant diamond of the inner earth and gained an entire diamond mine in the process. Now, where to next, lads? You gained a diamond mine? I thought it was already your mine. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, that'll do it for the African Mines, and we will be moving on to the Himalayas in the next part. See you then!